this is my new video on large numbers. To understand large numbers, first we should know the place value chart. So let's begin our class with this. Place value chart shows ones, tens, thousands, etc. in a number. The ones will have three places, ones, tens, hundreds, whereas the other periods have only two places. To understand this, we need to look to the place value chart drawn here. Let's see. Ones period has three places, ones, tens, hundreds, whereas thousands, lakhs and crores have two places. Thousands, ten thousands, lakh, ten lakhs, crore, ten crores. It is visible from here that ones has three places while the others have only two places. Now, how to write a number in this place value chart? We will write the number starting from the right hand side and then proceeding towards the left hand side. Ones, the number is seven. Tens, the number is eight. Hundreds, the number is nine. Thousands, the number is one. Ten thousands, two. Lakhs, three. Ten lakhs, five. Crows, four. But when we write a number name for a number, we start from the left hand side proceeding towards the right hand side. So let's learn how to write a number name for a following number. The number here is 4532198. How to proceed? We will take the first number that is 4. 4 falls in the crows place. The number name starts as 4 crores. Then 5, 3 falls in the lakhs place. We will write 53 lakhs. 2, 1 falls in the thousands place. We will write down 21,000. And then 9, 8, 7 falls in the ones place. We will write down 987. So the number name for the number is 4 crore 53 lakhs 21,987. I hope you are able to understand the place value chart as well as the number name. Now, after this, one thing to note here is that whenever we write a number, we put commas in it. Let's read about it. Periods are separated by commas starting from the right, first every three digits and then after every two digits. That means when a number is there, we start from the right hand side, we put a comma after three digits, then after two digits, then after every two digits. Why? Because one period gets separated after three digits and then the other periods get separated after every two digits. So the commas are put first after three digits and then after every two digits. Now, we proceed to the next topic. We move on to expanded form. How to write expansion of numbers? Let's take an example. 4, 5, 6, 8. So, we will take a digit. Then we will write the number of zeros. That is decided by the number of digits after that digit. So, 4. After 4, how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3. 3 zeros. Then we will put a plus sign. Then the next digit, 5. And number of zeros, 1, 2. Then we will put again a plus sign, 6 digit. 6. After the 6, how many digits are there? 1. We will put 1, 0. And the last is 8. We will not put any 0. We will write a digit itself. Similarly, in the next question, 6, 9, 7, 8, 3. 6 followed by 4 zeros. 9 followed by 3 zeros, 7 followed by 2 zeros and 8 followed by 1 zero. 3 is not followed by a 0, it is written as it is. Now, we move on to short form. Short form are the opposites of expanded form. It is a contracted form of expanded form. Here we see one expanded form is given in question number 8. 6 
triple zero nine double zero four zero plus five. So here we add all these step by step. One, two, three, four, and then we add all of them to get a short form. That is six thousand nine hundred forty-five. Do you get my point? So we will add all the expansion digits and we will get the short form. Now we move forward to successors and predecessor. Successor. Successor of a given number is one more than the given number. If we are given a number nine, so we will add one to it to get the successor. That is. Ten. So ten is the successor of nine. Now, the predecessor of a given number is less than the given number. If we have to find the predecessor of a number, that means you have to subtract one from that number. Suppose we are having a digit twelve. What is the predecessor of twelve? We will subtract one from it. We will get eleven. So eleven is the predecessor of twelve. Let's see with the example scheme here. Predecessor, number, successor. So the number is thirteen thousand two ninety five. The predecessor of it is thirteen thousand two ninety four. One number less. Similarly, successor is different, but we will add one to it. Thirteen thousand two hundred ninety six. In the next question, we have four thousand nine hundred ninety nine. The predecessor is four thousand nine hundred ninety-eight. That is one number less. Then five thousand is the successor. That is one num one number more than four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Here we end today's topic. Thank you. So this is our practice worksheet on large numbers for today. Question number one. Write number names for the following: a three five comma two eight seven. B four comma seven two comma six nine three. Question number two. Write in expanded form. A fifty six thousand two hundred forty one. B nine seven zero six. Question number three. Write the successor for the following. A one thousand nine hundred forty eight. And then B six thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Question number four. Put. Four lakh fifty nine thousand six hundred eighty one in place value chart. This is your practice work for today. We meet in next video on large numbers. Thank you.